I've seen videos on the internet where people whisper a lot and they tap on things or they crinkle things. These strange, delicate noises can cause some people to get brain tingles. So, did you feel anything? For some, hearing and seeing videos like this can cause a tingling sensation. It can start across your skull and down your spine, and it's usually paired with an intense feeling of relaxation. It's been called brain tingles or brain orgasms, but as of now, it goes by ASMR, Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. Awareness of ASMR has been growing since the early 2010s. We've even got a video about it. Video views get into the millions, and its reputation has piqued the interests of science researchers who want to know what's going on behind this phenomenon. And TBH, we still don't know a lot. The term ASMR isn't even defined in scientific literature. Autonomous sensory meridian response sounds technical, but it was coined on an online forum, not by a scientist. What tingle heads are trying to describe is the body's involuntary response based on what it's seeing and hearing. A 2015 study took the responses of 475 participants who experienced ASMR and found consistent visual and auditory stimuli across the board. Participants experienced tingles to slow movements, soft whispering or crisp sounds like tapping. Of course, different people react differently to the tingles. For some, it's a stress reliever, and for others, it makes them so relaxed that it can help them sleep. The thing is, this is all self-reported by ASMR enthusiasts. So another study tried to get some concrete evidence right at the source. The old noodle. Researchers used fMRI scans to study the brains of a small group of people, half of whom had ASMR. They focused on the resting state network, or default mode network. The DMN is a system of interacting regions of the brain that light up when the individual is not focused on external factors like, say, when you're daydreaming. All they looked for was a difference in brain structures, not what the tingles may or may not be doing to the brain. And though it wasn't a large sample size, what they found was still interesting. Normally, certain regions of the brain fire up together or talk to one another. This is called being functionally connected. But in people who experience ASMR, researchers noted, some of these regions were talking less to one another and some were talking more. So we still don't have concrete answers yet, but these fMRIs are showing tingle heads definitely have something going on. But so far, that's about all we could find in the hard science literature on ASMR. But these days, you can't talk ASMR without mentioning Dr. Craig Richard, a professor of pharmaceutical sciences and ASMR experiencer, who's created a whole platform to interview other ASMR scientists and keep it in the news. Dr. Richard is in the middle of conducting an online survey of over 20,000 self-reported ASMR persons from over 100 countries. Nothing is published yet, and it's not exactly scientific, but at some point we may have more data. In the meantime, he does have a hypothesis. A lot of these videos have one thing in common, and that's their ability to elicit intimacy through the idea of sensory function. Things are being touched, voices are soothing and comforting. He believes all of these factors trigger a similar response to the experience of being loved. And I mean, yeah, gentle voices and touching are important factors to all interpersonal bonding amongst humans. It helps us strengthen our relationships and neurotransmitters get released that make us feel relaxed and comforted. But we have no scientific evidence to back this up with ASMR. Even Dr. Richard says that more studies need to be published to find a solid answer. In the end, even though it might seem like some silly internet thing, knowing more about this could help us treat serious conditions like insomnia, anxiety, or chronic pain. And we know more research is definitely needed, but it's a good reminder that even when you may feel alone, you can always count on the people of the internet to have your back and maybe also your tingly head. Hey there, I hope this episode has your fingers tingling toward the subscribe button. And speaking of internet, why don't you check out this video on if we could one day connect our brain directly to it, sharing all of the ASMR. Fun fact, ASMR could be linked to synesthesia, which is the ability to hear colors or taste words, and we have a video on that too, so bam, two videos. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Seeker.